Her legs are too weak to stand up then she ties a long rope to the table and throws the other end out of the window it appears as if she hates the apartment so much that she is trying to escape it one way or the other despite her old age and fragile body she somehow climbs outside and grabs the rope tightly but just when she prepares to slide down. Her hand slip causing her to fall it appears as if she has died but when the camera pans to her it is revealed that the rope has miraculously held onto her leg the old lady tries to reach for the ground but the rope pulls her upstairs back into her apartment then the window shut forever a few months later a young 25 year old girl named Anna arrives at the same apartment to rent it where she is greeted by the building manager Mueller and the current tenant. It seems as if the current tenant is a different old lady than the one we saw at the start Anna closely inspects the room and finds it fascinating she becomes even more enticed when Mueller mentions the extremely low rent of the apartment which is situated in central Vienna before signing the rent agreement Anna asks the old lady why she's moving out to which the latter replies that she wants to travel the world Anna finds it very strange that a woman her age wants to travel. But nonetheless she believes her it's not that strange people these days don't retire until they are almost dead after this she reveals that she is new to the city and that she has come with her ex-boyfriend however things didn't quite work out for her and now she is all alone as Anna continues explaining her story the old woman becomes anxious and asks her if she wants the apartment or not Anna replies yes and Mueller hands her the rent agreement contract. She tries signing it but the pen doesn't work however the old lady has a spare one in her hand this indicates that she is in a hurry to hand over the apartment to Anna and as soon as the deal is done the lady takes her belongings and leaves happily soon Mueller also departs but not before telling Anna to call him if she needs any help following this Anna quickly gets to cleaning and rearranging the place. She brings all her stuff in and start painting the walls the place is very dusty so Anna throws out all the useless items including a small piece of cloth that lies on top of a shelf but when she returns back, after dumping the trash strangely the place has again reverted back to its old self the new painting has become dirty the furniture is covered with dust and the fresh fruits instantly have become rotten the piece of cloth that was above the shelf has also returned Anna is stunned by the strange occurrence. But she doesn't care much and refurbishes the place once again Anna is insane however every time she goes to throw the garbage bags the apartment again becomes a mess and because of the constant hard work Anna's eyes start becoming wrinkly and dark that night she sleeps on the couch tired when the radio suddenly starts playing Anna goes to turn it off but when she sees her face in the mirror she realizes that her face has changed drastically. The very next morning an enraged Anna goes to the house manager Mueller and berates him for offering her a haunted apartment she also demands her security deposit back but Mean responds that it's not possible he then brings out the rent agreement contract and shows a clause which states that a tenant may not leave the apartment until and unless a new tenant arrives the clause is written in such tiny words that a magnifying glass is required to read it as expected. Anna bursts out in anger and threatens to report him to the police but Mueller doesn't seem to be phased he simply warns her to stay in the apartment because that is what the contract states however Anna pays no heed to the warning and the leave she heads straight to a clinic to obtain a medical report so that she can file a complaint with the police but strangely the doctor believes that her wrinkly skin and grey hair is normal for a 25 year old woman. Anna shouts in anger that she has every right to get tested and whips out her ID to her horror the contents of her ID have been wiped out shortly after she heads to a hotel to stay for the night the receptionist again asks for an ID and Anna has to pay extra money for the room that night Anna suddenly wakes up and realizes that she has become weak low and behold it turns out that she has been become extremely old like an 80 year old woman. Anna slowly walks to the sink and coughs resulting in a couple of her teeth falling out the following day she heads back to the haunted apartment and confronts Mueller the latter is not surprised by her condition and simply mentions that she should have followed the protocols which clearly say don't get out of the house here we get to know that if a tenant signs the contract and gets out of their apartments they age rapidly until they pass away Mueller also reveals that the apartment doesn't like to be alone. And this is why a tenant must always be there and you thought clingy partners were bad following the conversation Anna leaves for her room and after a while Mueller suddenly realizes that his box of matchsticks is missing he rushes to Anna's apartment and finds that the door has been locked inside the old lady is sprinkling whiskey all over the room determined to burn it down however when she lights a matchstick. The place doesn't catch fire she attempts to try again but unfortunately the house becomes angry and starts choking her as Anna drops to the floor gasping for air Mueller somehow opens the door and tends to her he removes a piece of cloth from her mouth hence saving her life strangely the cloth is the same one that is always lying above the shelf shortly after Mueller hands Anna a drink and starts talking about the apartment he reveals that the apartment has been in existence for over a decade. 
and at all times there has been a tenant inside in one instant some schoolgirls lived there but all of them became grannies in a matter of days the incident made it to the news and caused nationwide unrest a minister even attempted to destroy the apartment to bring an end to the sorcery however he was mysteriously found dead before his plan commenced this implied that the apartment didn't want any external interference and so the government stopped caring about it and kept it a secret this is why even the police don't take any actions against the supposedly haunted apartments now Mueller has been assigned as the caretaker of the place and it is his duty to make sure that people visit it regularly it is a job he doesn't like but one that he has to do before leaving Mueller suggests a shivering Anna find a new tenant as that is the only way she can escape the apartment that evening. The old woman puts on some makeup and heads to her ex-boyfriend Daniel's place for help unfortunately he doesn't even recognize her and says that he's in a hurry Anna tries to reveal her real identity, but Daniel assumes that she's his ex-girlfriend's grandmother at the same time his new girlfriend arrives in her car to pick him up it turns out that the two are also apartment hunting Anna has the perfect opportunity to set them up and trap them in the apartment's butt. She doesn't say a word and lets them leave later at night while Anna is sleeping the radio again starts playing and some objects move by themselves it turns out that the apartment is trying to be friends by preparing a lovely meal for her when Anna wakes up she finds food right next to her couch but instead of eating it she throws it away however when she learns that the apartment has also prepared some tea she decides to try some Anna slowly pours the tea into a cup and takes a sip surprisingly she likes it prompting her to pick up a biscuit from near the dustbin where she had disposed of the food earlier Anna is too fragile and weak to cook food and now she has started relying on her only friend the apartment over the course of the next few days Anna becomes extremely fragile and she requires a cane to walk her body looks as if she is over a hundred years old she stares at her wrist and notices something moving inside. So she starts peeling off her skin shockingly the skin comes off without any effort revealing a strange wire-like substance inside Anna knows that her impending doom is near so she calls Mueller over to her place in the next scene a couple finally arrives at the apartment to rent it out they are revealed to be none other than Anna's ex-boyfriend Daniel and his new girlfriend as usual the two are enticed by the cheap rent and good furniture. Around the place they also like the fact that no other tenants live in nearby apartments which makes it extra peaceful hence they agree to sign the contract Mueller happily hands them over the rent agreement and Daniel gets ready to put pen to paper Anna who is watching everything transpire from nearby suddenly has a flashback of the time where she was trapped in a similar way she recalls the pain and misery she has been through because of this doomed apartment. Hence before her ex-boyfriend can sign his death warrant she pours hot tea into his hand and thwarts him away Anna then screams at the young couple to get out of her apartment and never come back Daniel and his spouse are visibly stunned by the old lady's actions but they leave without saying a word with this Anna loses her last chance to get out of this apartment she could have trapped her ex-boyfriend and lived the last few days of her life in peace and tranquility. But she chose not to this shows that her love for Daniel still exists and that she is ready to sacrifice her life and end the cycle of this wretched apartment even Mueller is surprised by her selfishness and resilience before he leaves Anna orders him to lock the door from the other side and not return for at least a few years she hopes that if no one comes the cycle will finally end and the spirit inside the apartment will die Mueller obliges and leaves the place. After wishing her good luck now Anna is all alone in the apartment no one is coming to meet her and she doesn't have the strength or physique to venture downstairs she goes near the window and feels the breeze one last time which makes her feel relaxed and calm all the fear and anxiety that she faced over the last few weeks has vanquished and Anna has finally accepted her fate she softly asks the apartment to be gentle and then proceeds to the couch which will be her final resting place soon the apartment commences the procedure Anna instantly passes away and her head is swallowed by the couch and becomes a part of it slowly her body also mixes inside the couch only her clothes remain and from the old woman's heart comes out pieces of wires that automatically knit themselves into the couch cushions her head turns into a white cloth and right next to it are the two identical white clothes indicating that the apartment uses its victim to renew itself. However with no victims left we can only assume the apartment will soon die talk about Rhea Falstery. This brings us to the end of the movie, I hope you do like it. And please do like and subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications icon for more videos like this, as we going to be bringing you more of your favorite movies. Thanks for watching and see you soon.